Next tonight, the Department of Corrections remaining tight-lipped over how a convicted hitman was set free. The state agency is blaming rural Madison Parish on the gaffe. The investigative unit, Chris Nakamoto, asking questions about whether they even bothered to do any sort of screenings before letting their prisoner walk out of jail. Sylvia Michael, convicted murderer Michael LeBlanc, was released from prison a week ago today. It wasn't until people in Ascension Parish began asking questions about why he was roaming free that officials from the Department of Corrections realized a big mistake was made. The finger pointing continues tonight. Which could have all been avoided had somebody read the document. Ascension Parish District Attorney Ricky Babin is beyond frustrated Wednesday. He's dangerous. His patients wearing thin over a mistake that should have never happened. Who is responsible for this failure? DOC. Department of Corrections. What would you like to say to them? Stop being in such a hurry to open the jail doors all the time and let people out until you do your homework and see who they are. Last Wednesday, the Department of Corrections says the Riverbend Detention Center, which houses Madison Parish inmates, mistakenly released Michael LeBlanc, despite two detainers on him that should have prevented his release from prison. Following Michael LeBlanc's mistaken release from a North Louisiana jail and the screw up coming to light, a judge in Ascension Parish issued a court order for him to be taken back into custody immediately. Meanwhile, the Department of Corrections also has an outstanding warrant for him after he was released and failed to check in with a parole officer. The only reason we know that he's out is because a civilian on our streets in Dallasville stopped one of our deputies and says, I, mean, I think I've seen Michael LeBlanc. Ascension Parish Sheriff Bobby Weber also expressing frustration. My focus is getting him back in jail. There'll be time to figure out how all this happened. Having to go look for a murderer who was taken off the streets. LeBlanc, known as my man, was convicted of second-degree murder five years ago. A jury found him guilty of the shooting death of a Jory Wilson in Donaldsonville in June of 2014. Wilson was killed while he sat on his porch at his home on Elizabeth Street. Well, how he got out of jail is very confusing to me. It's very frustrating to me and this community, and it shouldn't have happened, but he needs to be back in jail, and that's where all my focus is. Tonight, Weber and Babin say the public should be vigilant. I don't want to use any names, but there's witnesses that we think could be at risk. There's uh, victims' families that are concerned. I mean, it's just worst of all worlds, if you want to know the truth. It was, it's, I mean, he's got nothing to lose. A second-degree murder conviction carries a mandatory life sentence. It's still not clear why LeBlanc never had a sentencing hearing. No one knows where he is now, but investigators believe he could still be in Louisiana. DOC again pinned the blame on Madison Parish and the Riverbend Detention Center. Michael.